again. Uh, cultural graduation and celebration. I went to the Nautilus lab. It's on this campus. There are two, two, two questions. But... So, why birds sing? Birds sing for two reasons. Either to defend the territory or to, or to attract me. Only males sing, and, and some birds are great to defend because only few, only few mammals and animals have developed to that vocal output. There are different types of songs. There's a complex song and a simple song. Complex song is it's the singing of different syllables in one song, and the simple song is just it's just a um, song that's sung with one syllable. Now, um, when the when the song is sung, there are different different parts of the song that my lab looks at. We look at um, the introductory note, and then we classify the song into different solo types. Either the first syllable we classify as A, and then second B, and then the next we go into. And C, 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 and whatever goes next. You find a new syllable in the song, you classify as D, and then you keep going in that form. Now, there are different types of birds. There's, there's a cat bird, there's swallows, there's toadies, there's zeros. But two of my favorite birds that I really like are the first one is the live bird, and it, it is known to, um, to mimic about 20 different sounds. And what's great about this bird is it, if it, it can learn any song, it can learn the song of any bird, which, which is advantageous because if, if it's trying to fight for a female, it can sing, it can sing its competitor's song, which may be singing better than the competitor and than the female. And the bird I love the most is um, the cuckoo, is a cuckoo bird. And I'd like to give, if I can have The cuckoo bird, it's, I love the bird because it's, so the, in, in, any la, in any nest, the mother will lay the bird in, it's, it's a parasite bird, it's a, it's a brood parasitic bird. The mother will lay its, its eggs in another nest and then the bird will grow up, but then as the bird grows up, the other, the other nest in, in the bird, that was the nest, the, no, the eggs that were in the nest, before the cuckoo bird was laid inside, the cuckoo bird will get rid of all the nest in the egg. So you have this, you have this naked bird, no feathers, no fur, wings, no like that. And then it, it's blind, but then it uses its back to push all the eggs in the nest, and then throw all of them out into the water. And the mother, the mother can be present, but the mother will not see this. I, I really want to share this video. So a cuckoo parent laid, laid its, its egg into another bird's nest and then gradually as, as the cuckoo grows up, this naked bird just throws all the eggs. Literally pushes all the eggs into the water and the eggs just die. So he'll be the only bird left in the nest. The bird is G. 
And, and the, the parent will be present, look, the parent is present, look, it goes, okay, what, what, what the heck's going on? What, what am I doing? But it does not react, it does not do anything. It just stays in the nest, and the bird, the cuckoo bird just gets rid of all the, all the eggs. Because, now, the reason why I love the bird is, it's, it's smart, even at an early age. If, if it has the ability to get rid of all the, it has the ability to get rid of all the, the eggs in the nest, then yeah. The mother's going to feed him more, and he's going to be the only bird. So yeah, he's going to get all the food, and it's going to get bigger. But the ironic thing that I really look at is, you have this tiny little bird, but Stephen is this humongous bird, and the mother sees no difference. Most of mother say, "Okay, this is my baby. I love you so much. I'll feed you at any time." <laughs> and this, it, it happens, and I, lo I love this because I, it's interesting to know how. Natural selection picks this, and how this is like maybe Justin Bieber feeding shit to him. Every time this bird, every time he makes his bed and falls, actually, this this bird actually all the way through this bird. It's it's one of the one of the I find fascinating. But the bird I'm working on in my lab is it's Fiziana Pasmina. It's it's known as the chicken sparrow. That is one cute bird. One of one of uh, my close dog in my rap, he said he fell in love with the bird the first time I think he saw the bird. So he dedicated his whole his whole life to the bird. He worked with Steve's on the bird. Everything he does involves chicken sparrow he, he loved the bird the first time he saw it. Now the chicken sparrow, the chicken sparrow sang the repetition of one syllable. So like I said, different some birds sing A, B, C, C, C. The chicken sparrow only sang A for the rest of the flight. Now, because my project is to depict cultural variation in song, we picked the chicken sparrow because it will allow us to, to see if there are any changes in syllable types. The chicken sparrows learn their songs from their father, but then eventually when they migrate to another neighborhood, they change their song and learn a song from their neighbor because it's great to help them, to help them compete with their neighbor. Now I have four different different songs that I'll like to play. The first one's a golden crown sparrow, and I want you to pay attention to how the solo types the solos are depicted. Some of the songs are long, but I just cut them. It does that every time. It goes long introduction mode and goes. That's it song. That's it song. It was in that. Now the white crab sparrow. That's a complex song. So if, if we put a female between this bird and this bird, guess what? The female will pick this bird. We just look at this guy. He's singing one thing. I mean, come on, shake it up. He's doing the same thing. So this bird goes. A, B, C, C, and then B. I'll play that again. So it's just a little buzzer, you know, it's just a little play over there. It's cool. And the yellow eye chunker. I also have a different type of song. It also does A, 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 B, C, 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 B. So out of all of this, out of all these different species that have different songs, we pick this, we pick this bird, because if we do find a difference in its song, yes, we'll be able to easily see it. Then to pick a bird with song like that, look like this, that maybe if, if a new soul was introduced, we say, okay, the bird sings a new soul, so how can we tell if it's a new soul? But then if we use this one, if it sings A, 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 and then somehow we find a B in its song somewhere else, we say, okay, there's something wrong here. Then we try to find what happened. Now, I am looking at the um, I'm looking at the chicken sparrows of the of the east and the west. So we're finding cultural variation in the song of the eastern chicken sparrow and the western chicken sparrow to see if there are differences in the way the two sections sing their song. Our hypothesis is simple, it's that we hope to find 
we don't we do hope to find cultural tones. We do hope to find maybe the singing of um we, we don't hope to find the same thing in, in both parts of the of the, the region. Maybe we hope to find in the in the east there'll be more there'll be more notes per syllable than the west. That's we said that we want to find cultural change. We have to find some change between the songs of the East and the, and the West Central Inspire. Now, all we use, we use a computer, we use, you can use a sound recorder to record the sounds. My mentor used MATLAB. She, she wrote a lot of the programs, a lot of the results we have, we, we use, we got them for MATLAB. She writes this program. And then we put all the, all the, uh, the samples that we have. We have about, so I have about I had about a thousand songs, and I listened to all of them, and then I I crop them up. First I get the song, and then I find I get the song. I, I listen to the song to see if it's a good song. And sometimes the the songs are not great. Maybe there's another bird singing in the background, and then I crop the song into five different into five syllables. The, the middle section of the song. That's the only part of the song that we want. This is the region of, of where from where we we have the sample of the birds. So we are we're comparing the east and the west to see the differences. We have one recording from Alaska. So my methods we collect the songs. We collect the songs from um, Cornell has a lab that um, records the these songs where they put them on the Online and you can record the songs. We also get songs from Borough Lab and from Zeno Panzo. It's, it's, it's this online database where we, we get songs and chicken sparrows. Sometimes my lab records their own songs too. It's, they do the first. So uh, we take these, we take the songs, we take the song files, filter out the low frequency. The low frequency is the, is the background noise that might be in the song. Maybe, uh, Maybe a car is, is passing by, or where the song is being recorded in a room. Maybe the um, uh, air condition is on, or a phone goes on. All these, all these noise that come with the song are in are in the background. So we filter out the low frequency noise, and then we leave just the song. We also record the time, the time, the date, and the latitude and longitude of the song, because it helps us to. It helps us to, uh, to input this data into MATLAB and into Excel. Now, when, when my mentor writes the program, we input all the songs into MATLAB and then we, 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 we classify the song into different variables. But the variables are these. So each song will have a, each song will have a syllable, and then it's duration and all these things. But then when we are comparing the songs between the east and the west, we look at the difference between the, the syllable duration in the east and the west. Um, if which part of the region has the longest syllable, which part of the region has the shortest syllable, duration part about all these things, we look at all of them. And the program that my mentor writes in that lab helps us write all of these things. So first, there, there are for all of these, we have we have grass for all of them. And then I pick a few.